Guys, welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today, we're gonna to talk about how I broke the three-point on my tractor. We're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. Get yourself some wheel spacers if you want stability. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below to see more, and visit goodworkstractors.com to look for an attachment for your machine. Okay, so my three-point hitch no longer raises up, and for some reason, this hydraulic circuit stopped working at the same time now my third function which controls my grapple when i came back out here I, I broke it a few days ago but now my third function for my grapple doesn't work either uh, the fifth function to control the the uh, hydraulic tilt on the side still works just fine and to top it all off we had a dead battery had to jump it this morning too so this is beyond my control i got to take it into john deere i want to tell you how i did it though so you can avoid the same mistake so last week we blazed a trail through um, the entrance to our property to try to reclaim that and there was a bunch of leftover debris and ruts i had my 84 inch dirt dog box blade out here hooked it up to the 4720 and was going to smooth out that path and so what i was doing i was driving forward and collecting all the debris, smoothing things out, and then kind of piling it up towards the end. And after I had a bunch of piles, I would then take the tractor and then use the outside of the box blade to push it all into one big pile. So as I was doing that, imagine the box blades on here, the pile starting to get taller, the box blade would kind of gradually climb taller and taller on the pile of dirt and debris. The only thing I can think of is that I somehow managed to let it climb too high beyond the dynamics of the three-point hitch where perhaps it went too high maybe snap something internally i really don't know that's the only hypothesis that i have at this point so it's multiple issues it's the three-point not raising and lowering which you know chris and i have looked around there's nothing that's moving maybe uh, indicating some linkage is disconnected so it's got to be internal as far as i know but then on top of that this hydraulic top link quit working at the same exact time I'd actually turned the machine off and turned it back on when I was diagnosing things and uh, decided to disconnect these two hoses and then flip-flop them. And it went from a fully extended position on its own without me pushing any buttons to a fully retracted position. So when I flip-flop them again, it goes back to a fully extended position without pushing any buttons. But as of this weekend, the fifth function worked just fine. The third function, which is routed all the way up front to open and close the jaws of my grapple, also worked fine. Come back out here, we get it jumped fired up i'm kind of going through everything to make sure it's working or what's not working and all of a sudden now the third function is not working either so things seem to be getting worse so a word of caution if that's what broke it make sure you're paying attention when you're backing up and kind of rising up on a pile i felt like i was well within the constraints but maybe i wasn't but as far as these rear remotes i have no idea how that's connected to this issue so now that we have our own property we want to fill you in kind of take you along for the journey the good and the bad so when things break we're going to tell you about it we'll tell you when they're fixed and how to fix them and the next big project I have for the 4720, once it's fixed up, is running the Batwing mower. We have some big fields here to clean up. I can't wait to show you that. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more along the journey of this homestead, hit that subscribe button. If you want something for your tractor, head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Hey, thanks again for stopping by. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. <laughs>